in this video we are going to discuss about PLL demodulator. PLL is phase lock loop. So this is a one of the basic type of demodulators which is used for demodulating of FM signals. Now let us see what are the basic structure and how is the working of this PLL demodulator. Okay, so this is the PLL which we have already uh, studied in uh, our earlier subjects. PLL that is a phase lock loop. Okay, and we are going to use this for recovery of our modulating signal from a FM modulated wave. So the input is an FM signal and the other basic elements or blocks present are there is a phase detector, there is a low pass filter, there is an error amplifier and a voltage control oscillator. The phase detector is actually a multiplier. It is going to generate the sum and differences of two input signals fed to it. Okay. Then the other important element is a VCO which is a voltage control oscillator so there is a control voltage and we are going to take it as vc here and let us take that the free running frequency of this vco is f0 okay so when the loop is in locked condition when the pll is set in locked condition with the input fm signal then the frequency of VCO will be equal to the input frequency. That is the condition and that they actually follow our relationship. That is when this phase lock loop is in locked condition, the FM signal's frequency is, is equal to or it is following some relation with your voltage control oscillator or VCO frequency. And the relation is like this. In locked condition, okay, in locked condition f i of t that is your input frequency is equal to f0 plus k v c o it is actually a constant for voltage control oscillator into v c now v c is the voltage it is a voltage control oscillator and v c is the control voltage okay now here this is the relation for the locked condition right now we know that for a fm wave the instantaneous frequency instantaneous frequency of your fm wave is denoted by the relationship we have already studied in fm video that is we have discussed while we have discussed the basics of fm we have discussed this relation fi of t is equal to fc plus k f into x of t okay so f i of t equal to f c plus k f into x of t that is a relation okay now let us take this as equation number two now for the equation number two we know that f c is the carrier frequency k f is the frequency sensitivity x of t is the modulating signal Okay, so all these things we have actually discussed in the uh, basic uh, FM introduction video. Now, let us compare the equations 1 and 2. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. Here, we can equate both the equations. Okay, F0 plus KVCO VC is equal to FC plus K of X of T. Okay, so this is the relation that we are getting by comparing equation number 1 and 2. Now consider that your voltage control oscillator is tuned to a frequency F0 is equal to Fc, that is your carrier frequency. Okay, now when F0 is equal to Fc, we can actually cancel these two terms, right? And then we will get a relation like this. So I am writing it here, F0 is equal to Fc. This is actually a voltage control oscillator. We can tune it to some, some uh, any frequency we want. So consider that we are tuning it to F0 is equal to Fc. So we will get a relation like this. I am going to call it as equation number 3. Now from this equation, you can write the value for Vc, which is the control voltage of your oscillator, that is voltage control oscillator. Vc, you are getting as Kf by Kvco into x of t. 
Now remember that these two are constants. Kf is a frequency sensitivity. It is a constant. Kvcu is the Vcu. All letters are small. So Vcu is the it is a constant of voltage control oscillator. You can now write this as a proportionality. Why? Because this is a constant, right? So Vc is proportional to x of t. Now what this relation is indicating? Here, when the phase locked loop is locked, that is when this PLL is in locked condition, the control voltage of your voltage control oscillator is proportional to the in the modulating signal or the information signal. So this relation is achieved or this relation is obtained when the locked condition is attained. Okay. And also we know that there is a relation for maximum frequency deviation. That is there is a relation called delta F equal to Kf into X of T. Right. That is delta F is what? Delta F is the frequency deviation. Right. So there is the frequency deviation is equal to Kf which is frequency sensitivity into modulating signal. So this is a relation. This is actually the basic relation for FM generation. Okay. Now by comparing these two relations when voltage control oscillators control voltage Vc is proportional to X of T means you can write delta F is equal to Kf Vc or you can write the frequency deviation is actually proportional to the control voltage. Okay. You can also have a relation like this. So, in general or if you conclude it and if you say a conclusion, then you can say that when the PLL is in locked condition, the frequency deviation and the control voltage are proportional and we will get a wave that is we will get the demodulated wave when the PLL is in locked condition. Okay. So now we have derived a relation that the instantaneous frequency deviation is proportional or is linearly related with the control voltage of the VCO. So when this relation is achieved we can demodulate our original in information signal or modulating signal from the FM wave. Okay. So this is how this is the working principle of a PLL demodulator. So the basic thing we have to do here is we have to lock this PLL or the lock we have to lock the loop of this PLL. So when the locked condition is achieved all these relations are satisfied and hence we get our demodulated output which will be actually following a relation linearly or in proportionally with the VC which is a control voltage. Okay. So this is all about the PLL demodulator is a very commonly used demodulator and can be used for detection or demodulation of wide band and narrow band FM signals with a higher degree of linearity which cannot be achieved by any other detection methods because the the principle is, a principle is actually very simple. We just have to lock the loop and we will be getting a voltage proportional to the modulating signal and hence we will be obtaining our modulated or demodulated output. Okay. So this is actually very simple and a very effective way of demodulating of FM waves. Okay. So that's all about PLL demodulator. So I'm really hoping that you understood the topic. It's actually very simple. So if you found it useful, please do Give it a thumbs up, also share it with your friends and if you want more videos, please do subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and keep on watching.